Hey, fifth and sixth graders. Um, now we are going to be doing our second step here to our Grant Wood parody drawings. Okay, so I have um, in front of me, I have my parody. Okay, as you saw, it was um, the peanut M&M and the milk chocolate M&M guy. Um, I hope that my explanation was clear enough um, for you guys. And it turns out that a lot of you are doing a really great job with that. Um, but today we're going to be learning about how to add our color. Now you can use any kind of color that is available to you, but what I am expecting from this project is the um, value, okay? So you remember that we did value back, um, I think it was just a couple months ago actually, um, when we were doing our faces, we were learning how to show value to make something look a little bit more three-dimensional. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be adding is our newfound knowledge, the thing that we learned about adding value into our Grant Wood parody project. All right, so I'm gonna be using colored pencils for mine. Um, so if you're, if you're not using colored pencils, it's gonna look a little bit different, um, but it needs to have color for your final project and the whole thing should be colored. The only thing that should be kept white is if there's a part um, in your character that is white. Right, so like the white of the eye or if they're white gloves or whatever the case is. All right, so um, I'm going to give a little bit of a demo here, but then I'm just gonna time lapse it all. So it's all gonna go really fast and you'll get to see how I added color. So this will be a shorter video in comparison to the video I showed you on Monday. Okay, so let's get started adding color to our Grantwood parodies. All right, so I have my colored pencils here. I got my pencil sharpener and I have um, a Sharpie. Now, um, what I am gonna be doing is um, adding my black Sharpie to everything that I see in my drawing here. Now, this is just a personal choice. Um, depending on what kind of look you're wanting your parody to have, you may not wanna do this step. You may wanna skip um, doing this step, but I want mine to have kind of like a cartoony look because we know that the um, M&M guys, they're cartoon characters, okay? So I don't want mine to look too realistic. I want to look a little bit cartoony, but still showing that value like I am expecting you to show. All right, so I'm gonna first start by um, outlining everything with this black Sharpie. now um, if you were to look really close um, I would be able to see that there are some pencil lines um, that were kind of like left over from um, my preliminary sketch you want to go ahead and erase those there's a couple of lines I left um, that I did not outline because they're more meant for guidelines for trying to find value so if you were leaving yourself some guidelines for value that's fine don't erase those okay um, you'll erase those when you get to them with your color tool so I'm using colored pencils for mine. Um, now, colored pencils, um, they blend pretty easily together. Um, when you press really hard, it's a little bit um, harder to blend them. So you always want to start off um, pressing very lightly. Um, but then as you're fading, remember, guys, you want to pick a light source. Okay, just like our um, practice still life bowls. Remember how we had the bowl full of the grapes and the bananas, the apples? Um, just like that, pick a light source and stick to that light source. Okay, so whether that light source is coming from the left or from the right, the top, the bottom, stick to that light source and make sure that you're showing value in your parody. So go ahead and start adding color to it. Okay, fifth and sixth grade. So um, after you add the color into your Grant Wood parodies, make sure that you um, post it into that individual Google Doc that I have posted for each one of you so I can see it and that you can get the points for it, okay? Um, some of you have already turned into me. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, I am also going to be posting on Thursday um, an extra activity for you to do um, for those who have finished early. I hope you have a really great Easter weekend and we'll see you next Wednesday.